beautiful people you're welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is imana confidence ijoma so if today is your first time of coming to my youtube channel you're highly welcome please realize and enjoy this video so in today's edition i'll be showing you how to prepare a goosey soup okay so here is my one mood of a goosey it's grounded already and here is my ugo leaf and here is meat here i have some cocoa yam so this cocoa yam i've already uh boil it and pound it as well so but i didn't use my i didn't use any of the red oil to to pound it so um the reason why i'm using this cocoa yam is because i'll be using it to thicken the soup okay so i don't like my soup watery so because of that i'll be using this particular cocoa yam to thicken it okay so here is some crayfish granite crayfish and here is my um dry fish and uh, here is my stock fish my two stock fish and here is my uh, salt here is my pepper and the ogre bay so if if you are from Enugu state basically it's from Enugu state people they normally use this particular ogre bay to cook soup okay so and here is my four mangy cubes so right now i'll be uh show you guys how to do it okay today i'll be using a big pot you can see it i'll be using a big pot because this soup actually i'll be putting it inside the fridge okay so it's something that will last long for us okay so guys i'll be using this big pot to make this soup okay right now i'll be adding the meat so guys, this is the meat already. I've already put it inside the pot and add some little water. So I'm going to place it on fire right now. That is it. So we are going to on our gas. I didn't add much water. I'll be adding water later, but not now. Okay, so we are going to cover it to cook. Once it boil, I'm going to uh, put my egusi inside. So right now, we are going to uh, mix this egusi with warm water and pound it inside mortar. Okay. So I said warm water, not hot water. It just warm water and pound it inside mortar. Okay. So let's go. Now let's check if the uh, pot have boiled so that we can add our egusi. Yeah. You can see it now. So we have to add our egusi. I've already mixed it with water, the warm water, and pound it. You can see how soft it is now. So we are going to put it inside the pot right now. We'll be cutting it small, like this, and put it inside the pot, like this. Put it inside the pot. This is the last one. So mind you, you will not be molding block or just something small. Okay. Yeah. So we have to cover it now and allow it to boil it together and then we add another thing. Okay. So we are going to open it now to see if it have boiled together. Okay. Yes. So guys, I'm going to turn it now. You'll be surprised why didn't I remove this meat. Honestly, I don't like my meat to be overdone. So that's why I add everything immediately. So right now I'm going to be adding my cocoa yam. Okay. This is the cocoa yam. I'll be putting it inside, cutting it small. Like usual. This one I don't want it to had it been a used spoon. Half of it will be on that spoon. So I'm using my hand to cut it in. Okay. 
I'm done putting my cocoa yam inside. So right now we are going to add red oil before any other thing. We're adding our red oil. After that, we will cover it and allow it to mix together. Okay, guys. So that's it. We're going to cover it right now. Guys, we are going to check it right now. Wow. Yes, so this is exactly what we need. Can you see it? So we are going to stir it in a gentle way because I don't want that cocoa yam to dissolve because I'm turning the soup. So I'm going to turn it in a gentle way. Okay, you can see how it looks like. Okay, so we'll be adding our ogiri ogbeye. We'll put it inside, and again, our roasted fish. Is it roasted or dry fish? It's dry fish. Then you have to turn it just like this. So we add in our pepper. So right now I will be adding my stock fish. You'll be wondering why I have not put it yet. It's because it's small, small. And this particular small, small, tiny, tiny one used to be done very fast. So, and I will end up uh, searching for it inside the soup. That's why I put it right now so that after when everything is done, I will still see my stock fish inside the pot, okay? I will be adding my three mangi cubes. This three is okay for me because the ogre the obey will serve a lot for me, okay? So since the ogre obey is there, I don't need much cubes. So this tray is okay for me. So I'll be adding my salt. I don't need plenty of salt. I'll be adding salt if this one is not okay. And another one, my crayfish. My crayfish. And stir all of them together. You see the reason why I used warm water on that my uh, the goosey the melon is because once you use your warm water to to mix it at first, it will not turn out to be like block as if you mold block inside pots. It will dissolve by itself. So you can see how it looks like now. I don't need to bring it out again and. The cocoa yam, you can see how thick it is now. The cocoa yam is actually doing its work here. Okay. Oh, on the book. Oh, I need to add water because it's too thick. Yeah. Just added my little water. You can see how it looks like now. So I will cover it right now to cook. Okay, everything has been put inside this pot. It's already inside this pot. Yeah. Let's check it all. Wow. Mm hmm. Well, uh -huh. hope you guys can see it very well. Yeah, yeah. This is actually how I want it to look like. So right now we are going to be putting our wow. Can you see how thick it is? Can you? It's not watery. This is how I want it. Okay, so 
remaining in our leaf. Beautiful people, it's time to add our um, leaf, ugu leaf. Can you see how it looks like? So guys, this is it. My food is ready. This is how it looks like. I'm sure you will not fail to taste this food. This soup. Yeah. This is my goosey soup. So yummy, so fresh. Okay. Guys, my goosey soup is ready. Yes, yes. So this is how it looks like. Okay. Bring your apple, bring your fufu, gari, semo, wheat, pounded yam, whatsoever. Any type of your, your swallow, your favorite swallow. This will flush it down. Okay. Very yummy. Mwah. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Please kindly hit the red button and click the notification bell so that anytime, any day I upload a new video like this, you'll be the first person to be notified. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for always staying by, okay? I love you guys today. I love you guys tomorrow. Bye. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Ciao, ciao.